Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 3, where only a few years have passed since uh, the last war against Novgorod. Novgorod is still struggling, by the way. Anyway, um... Just recently a war has started, it's one of the big ones, you know, with France fighting against Burgundy just joined recently and is not a major player anymore, but against Bohemia and Austria. If there's one thing that might give the Austrian-Bohemian alliance some pause, it's probably France. So I thought now would be a good time to declare war on someone without Austria and Bohemia interfering in the process. So I figured, you know, I would still like to take Brandenburg one day. Um, probably piece by piece and not in one single war, but one day. Uh, however, um, if I want to do that... I do need to not declare war on them, because I have no Casus Belli against them, and they have, well, the ally with the Hansa, which wouldn't be good for my for my monetary income. Also, they're in Bohemia Sphere, also they're part of the Empire, so Austria will probably join the war. So, probably not them. However, they're allied with Lithuania. And for Lithuania, I do actually have a reasonable Casus Belli. But at the same time, I got through a random event, um, the the um the the claim on a core in uh in Novgorod. <clears throat> I also got a claim on Grodno, which is this province. So I can actually just start a war, you know, for reconquest because you know we've we did possess that um province, you know, way pa way far in the past that no one can remember anymore. But we did possess it. We just recently found uh you know the paperwork. Anyway, they're allied with Transylvania, who's, you know, just a minor player down here. And Brandenburg. Uh, Bohemia is the fan of the Catholic faith who might protect them, but if they are, we can probably deal with them while, they while they're occupied with fighting France at the same time. Alright? Alright. So we're gonna make the joining into the war on a, you know, um, individual uh, opt-in basis, not opt-out. So let's do that for Reconquest. So first we're gonna take that capital. I'm gonna leave that army here for a second to see if uh, anyone else is joining in. Oh, neither Transylvania, Bohemia, or Brandenburg are helping you out. That's so... That's such a shame, man. Oh, I guess... My plan of of indirectly declaring war on Brandenburg have kind of failed at this point. Oh, well. Anyway, apparently we can just send all our forces in here. Uh... So, Poland, if you want, you can join the war, take that province and, you know, profit. Because I don't really need to take it, but I probably will just so that the borders are not totally, totally messed up. Need to think of the infamy too, though. Oh, well, apparently we're just gonna have war against Lithuania then. Such a shame, but we're still gonna profit from it anyway. So many cowards here. Well, anyway. Is there anything we can split out of you? Ukraine. Crimea just doesn't have much. Ukraine would probably be... So we're probably gonna totally de-blob Lithuania at this point. Take these two provinces and tell them to release some um, Ukraine. If our infamy allows it. I'm pretty sure we get Grodno for free because we have a clay mod, so we don't have to pay infamy for it. But all right, um, currently Belarus wants to be a province. Belarus doesn't exist. They just were overrun, you know, by, by the Bohemian-Austrian alliance, and lost uh, this province.
They're not having the best decade ever. if anyone had any cores so that I can just ask them and kind of push them the correct way but Poland doesn't doesn't want to join and it's their loss I guess oh we don't have an alliance so they actually can't join based on that never mind also just allies not uh we also that they're also just a vassal but not an ally uh if you want to, uh, if you want to vassals to also join you in wars you need to make sure that they're also have a military alliance with you, which is not implied by them being your vassal, which was different in um, in uh, Crusader Kings, so, um, so I was kind of irritated by that in the beginning. Brandenburg. One one of these days I'm gonna get you. These days. This is a good position to just uh, stay with our armies. Can't, you know, go by. Uh, they can't go around us unless they have, you know, treaties, which I very much doubt that they have a treaty with Bohemia and also kind of doubt that they have one with Smolensk. So, um, oh, so they have pretty high war exhaustion. Yeah, the war against Austria and Bohemia had been going on for quite a while. I'm looking forward to seeing how this war turns out. Probably Tyrol is going to be re-annexed by Austria, which used to be part of Austria. Then in a war, in an earlier war against France, I believe it was liberated. Now apparently they got a good deal out of it. Well, they're not being reintegrated for them. Okay. I guess we can go here then. I think they can go to Bessarabia though. Very much doubt it's gonna be of much help to them, but slightly slightly annoying. Apparently they can just waltz right through there. Well, we're mostly set down in stacks of two, so should be no issue. I mean, they could go all the way around through my territory to Vilna and try to retake that, but 
probably be able to do something about that once they get there. Rodno's over. Yeah, and I see where you're going. Oh. Gonna be of much help to, to them today. What what's the offer? Oh man. But thanks for the reminder that you also have claims on Trakai, so should also do something about that. Anyway, as Ukrainian nationalists are weird because they're just right because they're just going right to my army. Minsk is over. Not too many provinces left at this point. All those Ukrainian nationalists are down too. However, don't 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 be don't be too disappointed. Ukrainian nationalists are probably yet to get them to release you anyway. Also, in the past few months, I've managed to resolve our religious issues. There's still some provinces that are not converted, but most of them are. And apparently enough of them were so that the um, religious distress, or whatever the, the event was called, was, was just called off, you know? So... One's going to put on, alright. Here. There was a situation here because I'm allied with mines and also there are allies, uh, or vassals, I believe. Point. Well, they're not all vassals yet, they're just allies and being prepared to become a vassal at some point. So I get to see some of which what's going on here. Not difficult to say how the fighting is going. That. I think everything was assigned, right? Point. Guys here. It. 
We're almost done. That was a little bit more boring than I anticipated, but you know, I couldn't really foresee them, you know, just totally, uh, just totally, just totally peacing out on that. Maybe I could try and solve the, situ the situation with them diplomatically, however, since they're Catholic and not Protestant, can't just, um, you know, vassalize them. Similar is issue with Meissen, where for some time I've been, you know, been the guy who would rule there in case something happens to the ruler. But uh, we haven't quite managed to actually get it so far. The war still going on. Such a shame that everyone abandoned you. Would have been a much more interesting war if uh, if they hadn't. But well. What are your offers now? Rotno and Palazzi, that's actually what I was looking for too, renounced claims. That's actually, actually it sounds pretty reasonable. How to get a sweeter deal out of it, you know? So, that, that. Not getting any infamy for, 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 uh, wanting Grodno because it's, because we have a claim on that. Then renounced try. We're at 41 at this point. I said release Ukraine. You don't want to do that because it's just gonna ruin everything for you. I see. Ryazan, which is one province. Crimea, also just one province. Even if we were to continue the fight, I don't think we'll have enough of a peace offer value to actually go through with that. Might be able to enforce a different religion on them though. Might be interesting because then in the future they might become our allies. That we hold some provinces of them hostage from, but... You know? It's just... It's fully... Fully won this war. Then we can dictate any terms that we want. Within reason, but... Also, integrating Polish provinces into our uh, into our ever-growing empire is um, a lot easier. I had a random event at some some time ago that basically said that uh, the Polish people have proved themselves enough in our empire and are now fully integrated. So, if the culture is Polish, there probably won't be any 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 problems with uprisings and stuff. Oh, where's the French army?
Minority prospers. Minority is prospering on a rule. Live land. Okay. Still have Latvian. Okay. Damn. What the hell happened to Georgia? Don't know what happened to Georgia at some point, but they have a really insane uprising going on here. Damn. Do they have military access? <laughs> just wanna, you know, just want that one big fight that I've been looking for. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright, let's join up here and there. And we'll attack them from two sides, you know. Classic pincer maneuver. I really don't need to do anything about this, but you know, I do. I would like to 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 to, uh, to keep my army tradition at a certain level. Warriors doesn't do not read books. Okay, or. Sure. I don't know a couple of historic personalities that were warriors but also read books, but So both going here. Nineteenth twenty one, okay, so I'm gonna wait for two more days. Do it you know in a coordinated fashion. I like military thinkers, what? Well, that's a fight. Cool. All right. Um, can go in separate ways again. I guess you can already go into Ozan or whatever. I guess technically I could detach a siege regiment here, just so you know. Care of things for Georgia. Eighty-seven. Okay. Well, no, we're not quite done yet. Technically, storm this castle probably, but there's really no need to just lose to, to, to just throw people away for you know, really no gain at all because we have to wait on that siege too.
Well, Novgorod is starting to convert the provinces. Thing? Might be looking at a future ally there. Uh, speaking of future allies, I don't think I've mentioned this, but um, I also sold Finland that we kind of got from Novgorod as, uh, during the peace terms. I sold it to Sweden. Um, Finland just didn't have money, also they didn't have any claims on it, so, um, you know, we might have just had uprisings and another reason for, for Sweden to go to war with them and, you know, that kind of thing. So I just sold it to Sweden for like 120 ducats or something. Which is not much for a province, but judging from the amount of income that I could have got from it, I think I'm not regretting it that much. Alright. I want that 100%. I guess now I can storm it because now we're just waiting on this spot to finish. So... Uh, free to do that. We're good? That is that 100% I was looking for. Anyway, conditions. Those two... Provoke Trokai. No, oh, he would not re release Ukraine. Alright, I think Crimea and Ryazan are just too small to just, you know, live for a very long time. Especially with Muscovy just, just, just close by, so... I'm not really sure why I would just release them in order for them to get killed, you know? I'll still do it, but... Force religion? No. Oh, or I'm just gonna force religion. Okay, okay, now we're talking. Okay. Apparently we're still a, re a re religiously motivated order. <laughs> After all things considered. Alright. Um, peace terms are being sent. I noticed that I'm going over the prestige limit, so I might as well just spend it on something. Like mines, for instance. Alright, once you're done, you can go further to Lazi now, I guess. Because they probably want to revolt, yeah. Rodno doesn't want to. No, they just, they just uh, were brought home, kinda, sorta. Oh. All right, well, not much about that. But the original plan didn't quite work out, but I'll happily take something from Lithuania, especially since both these provinces are. Richer than my average provinces, so uh, not too bad, not too bad at all. So some of the other provinces are better. Oh well. Anyway, I think um might not have it might not might not have been thirty minutes already, but I don't think but I don't foresee anything happening anytime soon. Especially with apparently all that war still going on. How's it looking? So there's been province exchanges on both sides, I guess. They're kind of probably avoiding avoiding major battles because the AI tends to not go for that. It's just sieges somewhere. Well, maybe that war going on down here will give me another opening at some point. But for now, I'm just going to wrap up this episode right here. In the next one, we'll try to continue our main quest of um, getting control of this area. Let's see how that goes in the next episode. Thanks for watching and have a good one.